Greetings from Mauritius. I'm Dr. Vidushini again, next Einstein Forum Fellow. What if I tell you that an oyster mushroom burger can reduce your risk of cancer? Many of you will feel a ray of hope, while others will be quite skeptical of this idea. In fact, the molecules in the oyster mushroom are super weapons and they have been shown to have blocking and suppressing effects on a number of cancers. This underlies the concept of cancer chemo prevention, where the basic idea is to arrest or reverse either the initial stages of cancer development or the progression to malignancy. I believe that this approach provides much optimism to us, especially when the World Health Organization uh, claims that two-fifths of the newly diagnosed cancer cases each year are preventable. You would certainly agree that cancer is the second leading cause of death globally. One in five men and one in six women will develop cancer during their lifetime. With a healthcare system in low and middle income countries, the cancer challenge is ever more daunting. So, across Sub-Saharan Africa, 80% of the newly diagnosed cancer cases are in advanced stage of the disease, and fewer than 10% will receive radiotherapy, chemotherapy, or even pain relief. Amidst this gloomy situation, the good news is that cancer is not a single event. It proceeds through discernible stages, which occupy a major portion of the lifetime of an individual. The transition between the successive stages can be inhibited, and it is speculated that food chemicals have the ability to intervene efficiently and cut the lifeline of the cancer cells. The possibilities to interrupt the cancer development is quite substantial. From an initiated cell to a benign tumor, and from a benign tumor to a malignant tumor, there are numerous opportunities to stop or reverse the process. A recent work from our group has on, on oyster mushroom has shown the latter's ability to reduce liver cancer. We found that six milligram of oyster mushroom extract grown in Mauritius was able to reduce the lesions in the liver of the model organism. It also restored normal growth as well as reduced DNA damage and decreased inflammation. The normal cellular antioxidants were restored as well as it boosted the immune system of the organism. We attributed such an effect to the molecules present in the oyster mushroom. In fact, these molecules, they targeted multiple pathways simultaneously during the cancer development. Unlike cancer drugs, which will have one or two targets. This philosophy extends to the African indigenous food, which are endowed with uh, dietary phytochemicals which have health benefits. Their ability to target multiple pathways make them ideal candidate in cancer chemo prevention. I believe that this is a very inexpensive as well as a readily applicable and readily accessible approach to reduce cancer death in Africa. Pinning our hopes on new technology is not the only way to reduce cancer death on the continent. When we realize that 60% of the anti-cancer drugs in clinical use have a direct or indirect link to plants, this raises our hope that uh, African indigenous food fits well 
in the effort of chemo prevention. Scaling up such a prevention intervention backed up by scientific evidence of safety and efficacy will certainly reduce the number of deaths from cancer in Africa. Thank you.